So today we're basically going to be doing a full unboxing of a Neo Glass Air full Duo setup. So obviously if you guys don't know ADA and Duo are the same brand. Duo is more of the kind of Triumph type brand, but they do, you know, make aquarium stuff too. But Duo is more geared towards, you know, Triumphs, Plodariums, stuff like that. And, and so the tank we're actually going to be setting up was going to be an actual Terra base. But we actually switched it to the 20C, which is just a 20 by 20 by 20 cube. And I got the metal stand for it and the magnetic light, which we're going to unbox today. And then in another video, you guys will actually get to see the skate for that. I'm not going to really do it on a video for the actual tank. You guys will see it in this video. But um, obviously that self-explanatory, just the tank itself. But then the cooler stuff is what I'm going to unbox today, which is the stuff that, just like my channel, I always say every video. If you guys like ADA, definitely subscribe. Uh, because I'm pretty much the only one in the United States that is doing ADA, at least on this level and uh, it consistently. I mean, all my stuff's ADA. And so a lot of these products that you never really see videos on or at least not English videos per se. So I'm pretty much the only one you're ever going to see consistent unboxing of ADA products. And the reason I do that is obviously because when I started out and I learned about ADA and I started to really like ADA and started doing all these setups, there was no videos. So there was no telling if the product was worth it or not and stuff like that so that's why i'm here um I, there's not a single ada product that i don't own to date now um so yeah i literally i'm gonna make pretty much videos on everything i possibly can on ada to help you guys here in the united states that really don't get a good look at ada products for sure so and so yeah let's get to it so the first one we're gonna box is pretty much the biggest one which would be the magnetic stand so this is the the 20l so this is basically the smallest out of all of them. Well, technically there's the 15 centimeter for a little bit skinnier, but it's still tall because of the Terra base. Um, this is the widest one, but the shortest one at the same time. So this is for the 20 centimeter. Um, so this one's actually specifically made for that 20 cube. And you could probably put, you could put other tanks in it too, but at least for the duo tanks itself, this is made for, or you could do the actual 20 C. Um, there's also another cube that's only about like maybe this tall, about an inch and a half, two inches tall, which is a super, super shallow. This thing will work for that too. Um, it's just all preference. Usually on that size, people go with other lights, but but at least with this stand, the 20 C is pro pretty popular with this one. And so when you unbox it, it will be wrapped up in paper. I kind of got excited and opened it up already, but basically all it's going to be inside of it is a stand with wrapper around it for protection. And so I'll get this out. So just like that, empty box. And so yeah, here it is. So, so yeah, pretty cool. Obviously, I think this is the same material they make the the metal stands for like the sixty um, centimeter set, the sixty P or the sixty H that uh, the full ADA setup which I have done. And this feels like the same material which that material they make with the stands is steel. I'm pretty sure this might be steel. I'd have to actually look it up. It, it could just be aluminum, but I mean it's really heavy like the steel. So, but yeah, it's power coated and white. I guess I do a logo up here which is pretty hot. And then it got a cutout hole for all your wires. It does have these two holes right here. Not sure exactly what those are actually made for, but I guess I could look. It might say it in the structure, but at least that big hole for your wires and whatnot. But yeah, just basically pretty simple, but also really good looking. So yeah, it's, I mean, it is super, super heavy. I mean, it's not light. It's I want to say it's like, I mean, it's still light, but for what it is, it's really heavy. So it's really heavy duty. It's really nice. I mean, for, for a hundred bucks, you're definitely getting a stand that's going to last forever for these. And, and of course with Dua, a lot of their product line is white and stuff. And so this all just looks so nice, especially if you want to do that full setup, it's going to look really sick down the road. Um, so, so that's definitely what my plan is to, in this corner here, which I'll show you guys kind of towards the end of the video, you guys will get a look at what all this looks like, um, together. So if you don't want to watch this whole video, or if you want to skip to the end to see what this all looks like together. Um, definitely do that but I'm going to unbox the light now too so the light comes in a little bit smaller box pink box here magnetic light G which just stands for green and so you open this up nice little unboxing ADA unboxing is always like kind of like Apple they always package stuff really nicely so I'll see just like that a little puck like and then underneath will be some manuals and it'll be your um, cords as well there'll be a box right here for your cords and it's just and so there's your light right there, pretty simple. And then you got your your input right there, which will plug in, and then it'll be a USB cord. You do have to get a power brick, um, but they're like a, a buck or two. So that's not that's one thing it doesn't include because that is kind of the most expensive part is you know the brick, but well not technically because 
the light is, but most brands don't even include a power brick, power brick most of the time just to save on money. And plus, who doesn't have a power brick laying around? So that is one thing. If you know, if you are planning on buying it, it does not come with a power brick, so no big deal. So yeah, same thing has a dual logo, and this is magnetic. So with this magnetic stand, it'll go up in there. Um, of course, if you don't want the stand, you can still buy magnets and actually magnet to this if you want to like use as a pendant on your own stuff. So that's pretty cool too. So let's see, get you guys kind of closer. So I'll kind of have to show you guys this. Obviously, I'll show you guys it more closer here in a second. But it's super strong, so just be a little bit careful. So it'll bang up the so yeah, nice like that. So the this will be. Obviously, the cord part will be facing the back just like that. And then a magnetic, so you probably want to center it a little better. Just like that. And so, yeah. You can see this lip right here. This is why this lip's actually here. It actually hides that light. So when you look at it from a, a you know, back far, it's actually flush. You don't see light, which is really, really cool. The light's really nice looking for it to be hidden anyway. So that's why I said if you don't want to buy the stand, you just want to, um, you know, hook magnetic the light to something else yourself i mean obviously just get get a get a magnet or get a piece of metal that actually can um, has a has a magnet to it where you can magnetic this to whatever you want and you can actually use it because the light itself still looks really good but yeah this stand makes it look really hot you can see how loud it smacks it but definitely definitely very strong magnet on it so just be a little bit careful so you don't dent up your light but yeah just that's basically what it'll look like and yeah like i said the core will go back here and so I don't want to waste too much time. Um, oh, and then it does have little rubber feet on here, so it actually stays off the ground. So any water, anything like that doesn't, you know. Obviously, this is power coated, so it'll last against water, but just the extra protection so it has some space underneath to kind of breathe too. And so no moisture gets locked in there. But yeah, so I don't let this video get too long, but that's the unboxing for that. And then I'm going to actually set everything up, how it's going to look, and actually get the light on it and turned on so you guys can kind of see it. So I'll see you guys then. So here it is all set up. So I got the sand so you guys can see what I was kind of saying, how it kind of perfectly fits in this cove right here. And it just looks super sleek. So obviously this shelf right here is going to be my kind of dual racks. Obviously we have ADA tanks all around this room, kind of like a little barely in this. And then this shelf right here is pretty much going to be our our little dual rack. So we'll just have this one and then we'll have the actual um, the pot too, which will look pretty neat because obviously the pot has its own full setup as well too which is going to look really hot and so I had do so the wires I, it, it worked out perfect because the wires I actually drilled a hole through the wall and they come they come off the wall and, and then there's an outlet right below here that gets hidden so basically this is like lit lit up and there's no wire seen whatsoever and so which looks pretty good and it just looks it just looks so sleek like that and especially with the stand and everything it just looks so good so you can see it up there lighting up the whole thing now I ran wires for the mister as well I don't think I'll be end up using it. I had a whole plan on scaping, you know, where there'd be a corner kind of, this corner kind of would be um, walled off where I could actually pour water in there and the mister could actually be on a timer and miss the tank, you know, two or three times during the day. But the way the wire is, like this black wire, obviously the, the light itself I can hide pretty well. But this, the way this is have, have to have to go in there, you're going to see this black wire come out and in into the tank. Which the way the escape's gonna be, I don't think it's gonna be the most obvious thing. But at the same time, though, it just kind of it just kind of completely takes away the clean look of it, um, pretty good. So honestly, I probably won't even have that on there. I think with the lid on there, it's gonna have enough humidity. Of course, I mean, of course, they do that all the time. I just I thought it'd be a little nicer to have this on there, but I think I'm just gonna completely take this out and just have the and then just do the lid itself and keep the lid on there because the lid does look really nice itself on there as well. So. So yeah, that's basically the the setup there. So if you guys have any questions on anything, is anything I missed that you want to know about this thing, just let me know. Um, so you guys will see a pretty much escaping on this. The escape will probably be kind of igumi ish, but then I'll have a bunch of um, you know, we'll have a carbon plant, but we'll probably have other plants too and stuff. So we'll see how that turns out. But yeah, just gonna be a nice little you know little terrarium just to throw some plants out of and look really neat and look really super good against the shelf and just you know add to the room that much more just add to the ada collection of course um it's gonna be fun doing these duos so but yeah other than that that was my instagram studio aquarium so you, got, you can always message me and private message me there i always post way more on there uh, as well you can comment down below if you have questions if you're on youtube but other than that
Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.